All right, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna do a real quick video uh, because uh, during the week, you know, certain things have been piecing together and then I just watched a video, you know, online that came across my radar and God is telling me to, you know, dude, throw it out there. Spread the gospel, okay? And so for, you know, I'm gonna make a video where I'm not bitching today. Can you guys imagine that? I'm actually gonna make a video where I'm not bitching about the world or trying to expose evil. I'm just doing, I wanna just pass along the gospel here. Before I do, I just wanna tell you everything that's tied into this video that I'm about to share. Uh, and let's begin. The video is about wealth and health. Okay, you'll see when you watch it. Okay, so it has to do with wealth and health and God and what's important. Okay, what's really important. Not the money in the world, not all your toys, not this, not that. Your relationship with God. But anyway, let's not go too deep. Watch the video. Uh, but anyway, what tied into this also, again, it's like, you know, dude, you know, it's like certain little things all week and within a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, I got a text from this guy that I used to work with and he told me that my ex-boss uh, has got intestinal cancer and he's on his way out the door. I mean, he's falling fast right getting ready to die okay so you know and I told my ex co-worker there I said you know man you work your whole life and this guy had all this money saved from working his whole life uh, to enjoy retirement he just had a couple grandkids he was talking about enjoying all his time with his grandkids and guess what it's all gone it's all over doesn't matter anymore within a matter of months he's gonna be dead okay you guys see do you understand okay that's one point and I'm trying to make it ties in with this video um, years ago here's another thing that popped into my mind I was just thinking about this the other day so it ties in as well uh, years ago I was down in Florida fall up Fort Lauderdale and I took a charter boat out into the ocean to do some fishing so the captain we had to go through these channels to get out into the ocean and we're going by these huge mansions probably oh man 50 million dollar mansions i mean yachts that are twice the size of my house and la da 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 so he pointed out this one huge mansion right on the ocean there or right before we get into the ocean and he said the guy who owns it is the one who owns all the sunglass huts you guys ever go into the malls back in the day they had the uh, little booth set up for sunglass hut where you would buy all your sunglasses. Well, this guy made millions and millions of dollars off these sunglasses. Uh, then the captain proceeded to tell me, but he's blind, completely blind. The guy can't see a thing. So, you know, and the captain made the statement after that. He said, you know, you got all that money. You got that big house. You got everything you need financially and you can't see a thing. You know, I mean, ain't that a shame? And you know, he's exactly right. You're blind and you got all that money and what is all that money doing for you? Not a thing. You know why? Because you, you, you can't see. You are so blessed to have eyes, to have ears. Okay, Things that money cannot buy. Things that Bill Gates money cannot buy. Uh, so you guys, man, you're so blessed. And then if you know God, you are super blessed because you have an inheritance that's coming that you have no idea. Okay? One other thing I want to bring up maybe two just real quick uh this girl i was talking to she's down south some girl i know and i don't touch talk to her once in a while anyway uh she i asked her the other day i was talking to her and i asked her if she got any presents for christmas and she told me this is her response that walking on the beach looking at the ocean that alone is a gift you know she's a religious obviously uh, but that was her response, you know, perfect response, you know, I don't think she got any gifts. I'm not sure if her family, she travels and all this stuff. She works and travels. So I'm not even sure, you know, she celebrated Christmas and that alone, she said as a gift, just admiring God's creation. Okay. That is a gift. Okay. Now, and what ties into this also is the other day I was driving I'm out in the country a little bit and I'm looking at the cornfields and the beautiful sky and you know, I talk to God all the time guys. In fact, man, I'm, I'm driving down the road, if anybody passes me, they're going to see me talking to somebody and I'm talking to God out loud, I do it all the time. And I'm, dude, 
I'm looking at the sky, I'm looking at this, and you know, and it, I, this is less than a week ago. You know, I told God, and I said, man, dude, that is just such a gift to be able to see that. You know, because it was just beautiful, perfect sky and everything else. And, and again, I even said it out of my own mouth, what a gift. So tying all that in together, and then this video crossed my radar, and I watched this less than an hour ago. And I'm thinking, man, you know, I'm just, dude, God is sending me a big picture of something. I'm just going to pass it along. So without further ado, watch the video down below, guys, and uh, realize what is a gift, how much time you have on earth, and uh, keep your eyes focused on what really is a gift. All right, guys, peace out. Take care. God bless.